Hi, Jay. Good evening. Good evening, Arun. <clears throat> Today, we will uh, approach some back <clears throat> bending postures. Holding for uh, longer, <clears throat> when you are practicing on your own, you can. Uh, you can approach uh, the session in different ways to do as many postures as you would like, or picking a few postures and exploring yourself in those postures. Um, <clears throat> both has its own. But in any case, even if you're wanting to do many postures, at least five breaths holding postures for five breaths um, is, a, is a good way. And also repeating the same posture for the second time and holding for five breaths can also give you an opportunity to explore different dimensions. <clears throat> we will um, approach few such repetitions today. The same posture, you hold for five breaths, you come out of it, you reset. And you, you practice the same thing again. And you can uh, notice um, the experience. Um, with the more, you, you, you won't uh, have anything or there will be less distractions. The second time you go in, you know exactly what you're doing. And as you go in, <clears throat> you can uh, really explore the posture you want. Know. Hey, you know. really, really. Um, Srini said he wouldn't be able to join, so let us begin again. Any comfortable seated postures? Three deep breaths. After uh, taking three deep breaths, <clears throat> even as you relax the shoulders, imagine opening your heart. Opening your mind with open arms, receiving each breath. Receiving each breath with a smile. Nothing more at all to do. <clears throat> Simply receiving each breath as a guest with this name. Inhaling and exhaling. Breath coming in and breath going out. A precious guest coming in and going. Me 
change. Right. That is new. A new guess. They might look similar. They might feel similar. But each breath is new. Unique. One in a life. Yogis count their life in, in terms of number of breaths. Don't have to count. <clears throat> Just invite every new guest. And allow them to leave as they please. Palms to the heart center. Namaskar Mitra. <laughs> May this practice be for the benefit of all beings. Tilting your head forward, chin to the chest. Open your eyes. Inhaling. Palms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms down, look down. Inhaling up. Exhaling up. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One last one. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Broad stance. Hands on your waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Inhale, exhaling, bending toward the right wall. Look over the left shoulder. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, bending toward the left wall, look over the right shoulder. Inhaling, center. Four more rounds.
after completing five rounds, take a deep breath exhale. Next inhalation, move your hips forward, chest forward, look up and take the arms out and to the back. Arms out and to the back. Next exhalation, bend from the hips forward, hugging yourself tightly, head down. You can bend the knees and allow the head to travel down toward the mat. Next inhalation, back bend, arms spread out to the sides and to the back. Back bend. Exhaling, bending forward, hugging yourself tightly, chin to the chest. Three more rounds. Completing total five rounds, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up to the sides, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhale center, exhaling, bending toward the right wall. Right arm hanging behind the right leg, left arm up and over. Allow the head to fall down to the right shoulder, right ear falling down to the right shoulder, stretching the left side of the neck, inhaling back to center. Exhaling, bending toward the left. And the left ear falling down to the left shoulder, stretching the right side of the neck, inhaling center. Four more rounds. After completing, and on the legs. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up to the sides, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhaling, center, exhaling, twisting to the right. Look over the right shoulder as much as you can. Turn your head as much as you can. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, turning to the left. Turning your head to the left as much as you can. Inhaling, center. Four more rounds.
after completing five rounds, hands on the waist, take a deep breath. Exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Next exhalation, bend your knees, Utkatasana variation. The knees are not going further than your big toes. You're bending the knees and you're sitting back. The seat bone is going backward. Your arms and spine are in alignment. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, release the arms. Bring your feet comfortably closer. Stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Front of the mat. Tadasana. Standing tall like a mountain. Namaskar Mantra. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara. Allowing the breath to lead into the postures begin. If the mind wanders away from the practice, simply begin again. You can begin again with any breath. Diligence and awareness this breath, this posture. With no expectation of any outcomes.
after completing three rounds of surveillance there, standing legs. <coughs> And remember, the practice is to be with the current threat and current experience. <clears throat> no matter what the postures are, standing, sitting, lying down, taking a pause. We can really directly be with the light as it happens. Only when we are aware of the current experience. We have a very strong habit of forgetting. And it becomes most about like past or future, not as it is, as it happens. Life as it happens. Life as it happens, and awareness of that is a doorway for all happiness and joy and peace and freedom. And this door is always here and is always open. Three deep breaths. Feet hip width apart. Arms up, interlacing the fingers, press the palms together. Press the palms together as you interlace the fingers. And reach for the ceiling. Your feet are rooted on the mat. Your hands clasped together are reaching for the ceiling. Extending the spine up. Five. Four. Two, one, exhaling, release the arms. For our lifestyle, simply doing this itself can be an antidote. Take a deep breath. Arms up. Interlacing fingers, press the palms together. Reach up toward the ceiling. Next inhalation, move the hips forward. Take the arms slightly back and you're naturally looking up. Five. One, inhaling, straighten up. Exhaling, release arms.
remember the current flow of life. It's not something that you always would consider as pleasant or not always unpleasant or neutral. It's a flow. And as we are in postures or pausing and relaxing, there is this flow. And our practice is to be aware. We follow the instructions of Hatha and we observe the flow of experience. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up parallel to each other, all the way up, palms facing the front. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Next inhalation, move the hips forward, chest forward, take the arms back toward the back wall, look up at the ceiling. Allow the arms to go back and down as much as you can, and you're moving the hips forward. You are keeping the arms straight toward pointing toward the back wall. And then drop your head only if you're comfortable looking at your fingers. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhaling straight up. Always inhaling and straightening up. Exhaling, release arms. There could be several changes in the experience of your body, of your energetic state, the feeling tone, the emotions, the different interpretations of sensory signals, liking someone, not liking someone, these are all part of what we call the current life experience. And it is flowing. And we simply observe. Take a deep breath, exhale. Sukhasana. Palms up. I softly close. Invite each breath with open arms, open heart, open mind. Activation and relaxation is part of Hatha Yoga practice. Hatha Yoga is a balancing practice. Balancing the sun and the moon, the heart and the cold, the right and the left, up and the down, outside and inside, body and the breath, breath and the mind. It's a balancing practice. Take a deep breath, exhale. Gently open your eyes. Stretch the legs forward. Take your palms behind you, shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. Now bend your knees and place the feet hip width apart as comfortably as you can. Inhaling, lift the hips up and look up at the ceiling. Bring the thighs and the upper body parallel to the ground. Lift the chest up, 
just a bit and lift the hip up just a bit. And then if you're comfortable, drop your head. Otherwise, simply look up at the ceiling. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly release the hips down. Release the legs. Shake your legs. Relax. This is also a good way to strengthen your back of your leg muscles. Even as you reach for extension of your thoracic spine as part of the back bend. Extension of the thoracic spine is thoracic spine is the spine between the shoulder blades. It usually curves out. In back bends, there is usually a straightening up. That is what we call by extension. Take a deep breath. Come to cat posture. Inhaling, look up. Allow the spine to hang down. And remember the extension of the spine, the thoracic spine between the shoulder blades that I talked about. Reach for that extension as you allow the lumbar lower spine to go down and thoracic spine to stretch up as you stretch your throat. You can even have your shoulder blades slightly going toward each other if that helps in extending the spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. Next exhalation, chin to the chest, spine up. Now this time, the thoracic spine curve is aligned with the movement of the entire spine. So there is no extension. This is more flexion of the thoracic spine, but more natural for the thoracic spine, which is already in the S curve with the back of the spine going out and up. Abdomen fully engaged. <clears throat> now you are kind of straightening up the lumbar curve. Five. Four. Three. Two. What? Neutral cat posture. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us do this in the normal Kriya fashion. Inhaling, look up, straightening up the thoracic spine as best as you can. Exhaling, chin to the chest. Extending the lumbar curve as best as you can. Four more rounds. Total five rounds.
after completing Vajrasana. Bring the spine comfortably erect. Head on top of the spine. Relax shoulders. Hands on your thighs. If you have just few minutes in the morning for practice, come to cat posture and do the cat cow tilt like we practice to wake up the spine. And you will be like a fresh flower, a fresher flower. Take a deep breath, exhale. Lie down on your stomach, Makarasana. Separating the legs comfortably wide, even if it is off the mat, it is fine. It's our earth. So it's okay if you go off the mat. Don't let uh, the mat bind you or bound you. The practice is uh, to be, to realize the boundless nature of ourselves. Okay, they are right here. So we don't have to travel anywhere. We don't have to go to pilgrimages, Himalayas, deep sea. They are right here. The door is right here. And the door is always here when it is open. Nobody is guarding except that our distractions obscure the door, open door. Three deep breaths. Come to cat posture. Walk your palms forward by six inches. Your palms are still shoulder width apart. Slowly. Start bending the elbows. Keep the elbows close to the body as you take the chest down to the mat. Elbows, elbows uh, close to the body. Chest down to the mat. Ashtanga radiation. Now, once you have the chest and chin down, without forcing it, tuck your toes in and ever so much you can, walk your knees forward toward the chest. Sending the seat bones up and extending the thoracic spine even more. No forcing, you don't have to do, you don't have to aggressively move your knees forward. Baby steps. What we are looking for is your throat is stretched, your thoracic spine is a bit extended. Five, four, three, two, one. 
walk your knees back all the way back. Lie down on your stomach. Makarasana. And in your Makarasana, your breaths as they come and go, the experience of the breath in your body is different. Because your chest is constricted, your abdomen is constricted. The in-breath will find space on your back. You can and feel your back expanding more. The in-breath is pushing the spine and the back of your ribcage up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bhujangasana practice or a variation. Bring your legs together, toes pointing to the back, chin down on the mat. Take your arms, stretch your arms close to the body toward your feet. Those who are comfortable, interlacing fingers on the back. And if you are further comfortable, straighten your elbows as much as you can. Inhaling, chin up, head up, chest up. Your toes are pointing to the back. Your legs are not coming up. Your legs are still pressing down. Five deep breaths, five. If there is slight wobbling as you inhale and exhale, that is fine. Four, three, two, and one. Release your chin to the ground, release your arms. Makarasana. Stack your hands cheeks on the stacked hands. Your legs can be widely separated. Whatever you could do to relieve, give relief to your lower back. Your toes can be pointing away from each other or toward each other or toward the back wall. Whichever posture of the leg that gives you a feeling of total relaxation. Crocodile posture. If none, then we're here, you might appreciate the cocktail posture. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us uh, approach Shalabhasana in few steps. Take your arms close to the body, palms facing up, chin down. Uh, stretch your arms toward your um, legs, palms facing up. Now slide your palms underneath your thighs. Chin down on the mat. Right leg up. Your um, 
hips are still facing. You're not opening out the hips. Your hips are still, hip joints are still facing down. You're only raising your right leg out. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly release the right leg down into the crown. These postures can really strengthen your back, glutes and back. And uh, you can save yourself from lower, lower back pain with these kind of practices. Left leg up. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly release the left foot down to the ground. Take a deep breath, exhale. Both legs up. As much as it. Five. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release the legs down into the ground. Makarasana. Take a deep breath, exhale. Stretch the arms forward, parallel to each other, arms down, chin down. Legs or your toes are pointing to the back. Bring the legs hip width the Toes are pointing back. Legs are hip width apart. Now we are going to keep the legs down throughout the practice. Inhaling, arms up, chin up, head up, chest up. Five, four, keep the legs down. Three, two, one. Arms and chin down on the mat. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now we are going to approach the same posture as we talked about earlier in the session. We are going to approach the same posture for the second time. Keep the legs down, your legs are hip width apart, toes are pointing to the back. Inhaling, arms up, chin up, head up, chest up. And continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath in any posture. Five. Four. Two, one, arms down, chin down, Makarasana.
take a deep breath, exhale. Chin down, stretch your arms forward, parallel to each other. Keep the legs together, toes pointing to the back. Now we are going to lift both the legs and the arms up. We are going to balance on our navels in Shalabhasana practice. Inhaling, arms up, chin up, head up, chest up, legs up. Exhaling, down to the mat. Go down to the mat, exhaling. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, down. Now, next time, we are going to hold the posture for five breaths. You are going to lift the legs up as much as you can. Your arms as much as you can without aggression. You're going to find the edge. That's all. Inhaling, Shalabhasana. Arms up, legs up, chin up, head up, chest up. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release the posture. Roll on to your back. Now, rolling on to the back itself might give you like a counter posture for Shalabhasana. Three deep breaths. Gently bring your knees close to the chest, hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side, massage. Spine and the sides. And finally, let go of your body and surrender in Shavasana. surrendering your entire body no need to hold any part of your body in any posture surrender and release your awareness is of the whole experience of shavasana Open heart, open arms, open palms, open mind for inviting each guest a fresh breath that comes and goes. Relax. Each breath of fresh. Bringing calm. And relaxing. The guests come in with calm. 
and guests go out bringing relaxation. Relax. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently, all the Shavasana and come up to sitting. Take your hands back, inhaling, going taller, exhaling, bending forward, thank you, another word. Inhaling, come up. Rubbing your palms, generating heat and massaging your eyes, gently blinking your eyes open. Namaste, thank you.